Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's jump straight into the goal of this video and that is the guide to a lean and toned body. So yes, that means I'm doing another mini project comeback series. If you've watched my latest two vlogs, you'll see that I was traveling. Kurt and I went up to Queensland with his family and we just spent a couple of days there. And I'm sure you guys are the same, but for me, vacation revolves around food. So especially when you go with other people, you're always sitting around eating. So I've returned home from this vacation three kilograms heavier and like I don't care about the weight I'm not into numbers but I'm into feeling and I feel not great all of my workout tights are very very tight on me almost uncomfortable and before Queensland I was at a point with my body that I've never been to before I was so proud of myself I've never been that lean toned and so I'm really excited to get back there and I feel like this couldn't come at a better time because let's be honest it's the holiday season we are all going to overindulge we're all gonna eat a little bit too much slice a little bit too much cake and maybe a little bit too much gravy so I've woken up this morning really really bloated I'm gonna show you a before video here obviously it's not bad and I'm definitely I would never call myself fat or anything like that it's just if you have seen my body lately you know that I've been really really lean and my abs have been like popping so for me that's pretty bloated and full of water so I just want to get back to where I was before the holiday yesterday I ate a lot of food and a lot of it wasn't even processed food just packaged food like packaged paleo food and you guys know that my normal diet is very clean whole food so today I'm getting back into that so I've already drank a full cup of this this is 500 milliliters normally I do like to put lemon in this because I feel like it really detoxifies the body and just flush everything out however I was out of lemon so water will suffice for now and room temperature temperature water it's actually better for your body especially in the morning so if you are normally a person who likes iced water maybe try and tone it down and get more of a room temperature water then I'm going to grab something small to eat as a pre-workout go to my local coffee shop grab my normal coffee which is let's say together a large long black with a dash of almond milk my period is due so I don't have much energy today if I don't get a good workout in I'm not gonna feel discouraged I know that I'm due so I'm just feeling a little like lethargic and woe is me today. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and grab some cool tips and tricks for me. I'm very motivated because yeah my tights right now are digging into me and I don't like this feeling. <laughs> Workout accomplished. I was there for like, I'm gonna say 35 to 40 minutes. So when I'm trying to get back on track, I try to rely on more sweaty Tabata hit style workouts with my body weight. I feel like it really helps lean me down. It helps shed fat and it really, really helps with water retention. So you wanna sweat as much as you can and really get your body moving. And I also feel like hit Tabata body weight exercises helps um, my digestion and getting everything flowing. It's like 11 o'clock. I'm gonna go home and make a big, huge, meal because I've only had a banana today but for lunch I really like to rely on raw vegetables number one because it helps fill me up because you get so much more like and raw vegetables are full of fiber so it aids digestion so if you feel really bloated and full of water retention I feel like raw salads really help get everything moving again and flush everything out so I'm having a whole bunch of raw vegetables and my source of protein is going to be smoked salmon this is going to really help my skin and my seasonings are going to be chili Himalayan salt and some organic apple cider vinegar that is my favorite combo right now and I'm also going to add in some coriander you don't need high sugar or chemical based products like sauces to zhuzh up your salads you can just use some fresh herbs some chili salt and just any seasonings like that
I'm just in my room editing this vlog. It is absolutely boiling and my room is at the front of the house so I get like all of the heat, all of the sun. This may seem like a really weird snack but I'm obsessed with it lately. Sort of like a berry cereal. I've just got 100 grams of frozen blueberries, 100 grams of frozen raspberries and then I fill it with almond milk and I sprinkle some chia seeds on top. It's obviously icy so really nice on a hot day like today and the chia seeds just add some extra fiber and some healthy fats to help fill you up and I just love snacking on this while I edit. I always have to be snacking while I edit. It is seriously like a sauna in this room. It is boiling hot. It's like 40 degrees Celsius today. I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit but it is hot. So I'm going to go make a protein shake with lots and lots of ice in it. The only source of protein I've had today is that smoked salmon. So I definitely need some more protein and I want something sweet and refreshing. So a protein shake is the way to go. So let's go to the kitchen and make that. As per usual, doing my vanilla pea protein. So one serving of that, which is 25 grams. Just reiterating, I don't have whey protein because it really blocks me up. And especially if you don't want water retention, I feel like whey protein makes me hold so much water water and makes me super bloated so I use pea protein instead. Then I'm adding some frozen banana. This makes it really yummy and creamy. And then this is a fun hack. I like to put zucchini in my smoothies as well. It just adds like a creamy thick consistency to your smoothie and yeah just thickens it up and makes it more filling I guess. I'm going to add a splash of cinnamon if I can open it. And then you guys have seen this product a lot. It's just glow powder. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I just love it. It's just like a probiotic powder. So it's really, really good for your gut health. And it also has a nice berry flavor to it. So it just sweetens it up naturally. Yeah, this is a really, really yummy combo. It may be an ugly color, but don't judge a book by its cover. My problem is I always scull them so fast. Like I just drank the rest of it from that big cup. And now I've almost finished this as well. And it's been like 30 seconds. I pretty much have a protein smoothie every single day. But like I said, I don't have whey protein because if I did, that would counteract everything I'm trying to do today, which is lean down and get rid of the bloatedness and the water weight. If you can tolerate whey, totally go for it. Pick any kind of protein that works for you. But this really works for me. <laughs> Downed in less than two minutes, people. I'm not proud of it. I am not proud of it. I'm feeling like a little healthy snack and every month I get a box from Fuel My Fitness and they had this in it. Okay, so no protein. It's just coconut flakes, banana, honey, coconut oil, cinnamon and vanilla powder. It's nice. It's not the best paleo bar I've ever had, but it is very nice and I approve of the ingredients. I like that it's super basic and yeah, not full of artificial things. That is all I've had today. It's up to there. It's just because it's so hot in my room. My water is just like heating up. I really need to consume more water. I find that when I don't consume water, I just want to snack on sweet things. Anyway, I'm going to keep doing some work. I'm about to go out to the kitchen and plan what I'm having for dinner. So I thought I'd just have a quick snack and I'm having a cut up mango. Mango is one of my absolute favorite fruits. So I'm having a whole mango while I decide what I'm going to have for dinner. Even though I rely on a higher fat and protein diet today, I have snacked a lot on fruit. But that's because it's been so hot and my body feels really dehydrated. Because obviously fruit is very dense in water so your body naturally craves it. So I just listen to my body. And the thing is, if you don't listen to your cravings, as long as they're healthy cravings, if your body is craving something healthy just go with it because at the end of the day if you're craving a mango and you say oh no I'm gonna have a tin of tuna instead you're going to end up having both you'll have the tin of tuna and then you're gonna have the mango later so if my body is craving something healthy I totally just listen to it so it's 5 30 almost dinner time and I'm going to cook dinner for my family I'm actually going to make pumpkin fries because to me pumpkin and sweet potato are very very similar and pumpkin is actually a lower glycemic vegetable so lower in sugars and lower in carbs so I'm going to make pumpkin fries and then I'm going to make some kind of chicken and salad. I want to make these fries as crispy as possible, and I swear I always fail at this. But the first step is to cut them really fine. I actually might cut these a little bit finer than that. And you need to soak them in water. So I've got my pumpkin soaking in water here. I've also got some white potato because my dad and my sister love white potatoes. So that's for them as well. So you soak them in water for around 40 minutes, and this gets rid of some of the starch. These have been soaking for like half an hour. I'm going to drain them out, so drain all the water out and then just pat them dry with a tea towel. For this stage of the fries, people normally use cornstarch, but I like to use coconut flour. So I'm just going to sprinkle some coconut flour on top with some oregano and maybe some paprika. Don't add the salt just yet. Add the salt once they've already cooked. I 
almost forgot one of the most important ingredients, which is the olive oil. So I'm going to sprinkle some olive oil on top of the chips, massage it in, and then put it in the oven on 180 degrees Celsius for around half an hour. It's time for chicken pesto pasta from scratch. Let's do this. last night was so so yummy I highly recommend it and it was a nice filling dinner as well so it's full of lots of healthy fats so I had the pine nuts the olive oil and then the chicken as a source of protein to help keep you full as well and the roast pumpkin fries actually turned out pretty well I wish I left them in for a little bit longer to get crispy but they were delicious but day one of project comeback is complete definitely stay tuned because I'll be doing at least three vlogs of project comeback and every single vlog will be sharing different tips of how I'm gonna get lean and shredded again because I do have a lot of events coming up where I need to look a certain way and be lean again and I'm still feeling quite bloated and just not as lean and toned as I was a couple of weeks ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of this Project Comeback series and I'll definitely make more for you. And make sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every three days. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!